Hi everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another episode of Test Pack Please Ignore. So, at the end of my laps last episode, uh, what had I been up to? I'm trying to remember now. Um, let me think, what was I doing? God, I do this every episode and I still don't get any better. I'm trying to think what I was up to now. I can't quite remember off the top of my head, which I'm feeling a bit daft about. Um, weird. I can't, I can't actually think. Um, I'll just let you know some of the stuff I've been doing off camera though. So, um, oh yeah, I know what I was doing. I was working on my mechanism, wasn't I? Mm. So I moved on my Thorncraft stuff up here in preparation for probably the next episode in which I'm probably going to, I say probably twice in a row there, in which I am more than likely going to do some Thorncraft stuff. I've got a few things in mind. I've been doing a little bit of work on it off camera, doing some research in the Thormonomicon. And all that jazz to kind of get me prepared into a place where I can start working on some cool things for Thorncraft. So I've started to move that upstairs. Eventually I'll probably have, if we go back upstairs, I'll have things like ooh, bees and stuff up here as well. So maybe in like a couple of these wings I'll have like a tesseract and loads of industrial apiaries kind of producing resources. Which should be sent back down to my, my main uh, ME system. I also put uh, an ME crafting terminal up here just because if I'm working on Thorncraft stuff. I don't always want to be kind of running back downstairs so I've kind of got... A quick, slightly quicker access than um, having to go down the elevator like this and then round the corner and finding my ME system. So I've just got one upstairs, same as I've now got one. If we drop down, I've got one in my basement as well, there, which is pretty cool. So I've just got started to put them on every level. Yeah, so that's what I was working on my last episode. This cool, um, it's cool set up here, which is now quintupling my ores. It looks pretty sweet, actually. Like, these are all chock a block full of hydrogen chloride. Uh, I wonder how many more of the ores I've got. Let me just double check. I don't, I don't think I've been on. No, I have been on since the last episode. So I'll see if I find any more ore. So let's have a quick look at ore. What have we got? Aluminium, white process, neither with Galena. Osmium will, however, so we can start running that through the system. Got uh, eight iridium ores, <laughs> a little bit. Um... Have I got anything else that's worth putting through? No, I do not. So I'm just going to start running the, the osmium ore through the um, through here. So we want to put, obviously put osmium ore through there. And then what we, what we then do is we'll grab a shard real quick, get that into the system. Come on, hurry up, osmium. Here we go. And woof, grab an osmium shard like that. Do I get one? Oh, goody, goody, I might get one. That's all right then. So I can now drop osmium shards into here, so they'll start processing through my um, advanced factory, which is pretty cool. I'll just kind of periodically do that. Uh, what I want to do in this episode is that I think at the moment I'm starting to run, yeah, I'm running quite low on charcoal. So what I kind of want to do is upgrade my tree farm a little bit by setting up a uh, fertilization system. I don't know whether it's worth just kind of knocking down this whole mob trap thing at the moment as I'm not really using it. So uh, I might kind of, where's, where's my force wrench? Um, force wrench, there it is. What I'm going to do is just force wrench up the spawner, store it, store it somewhere and then use it later on I suppose and then knock this whole thing down. Yeah, that might, that might be quite a good idea. It was kind of useful when I needed blaze rods initially but as I'm not really using it at the moment so if we just force it up like that, pretty cool. That's why the force wrench is dead handy. Ah, fly away, fly away from the iron spikes however. Um, would be fairly useful. So now what I need, really need to do is start blocking up this. Because what, so yeah, what I'm going to do in this episode is build a kind of a whole uh, fertilization and uh, fertilization. What am I looking for? Composter and fertilizer system for my MFR tree farm, which would basically just require me to um, grab a load of animals. Um, uh, grab a load of animals, put them on top of some uh, sewers, all that jazz, and then I'll just be collecting the sewage from that. I'll compost the sewage into industrial fertilizer, run that into a run, run it into a fertilizer, and then it'll just kind of grow my trees quicker, which is pretty cool. You used to be able to cheat a little bit on on my unhinged series. I was able to actually um, what was I able to do. You could literally like just macerate up appetite, and that'd do exactly the same thing. But I don't think that's currently in this mod pack. So can I dig up these iron spikes? I can, excellent. So let me just smash all these up. I might build, rebuild this somewhere else, but it's not really the most... What I could also do is actually put that blaze in with my other mob trap, I suppose, and like just kind of put it in the middle and then use it as a... Um, it'd like spawn blazes as well, I suppose, and it would then just be killed by the... Um, by the grinders as well. That might work out pretty well, actually. I'm considering doing that. That might be something for me to see if it works off camera, and then I can get a load of blaze rods that way. So I'm just going to finish 
knocking this down real quick. So I, so I have like an, an area which I can set up this kind of whole um, system on. So let me just whack all this down. Whack a doodle dandy. There we go. Come on. Smack all this down. Last little bit. There we go. This should give me a reasonable area to get started. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll dig up this and put some dirt in its place in a second. Let me just grab all that up, up all that cobblestone. Like so. Uh, let me put the monster spawner away as it's a blaze one and all this cobblestone, all that jazz. So, yeah, what we're going to... Quick, 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 quick thing for two before we start working with our backs turned to the uh, open door. So, yeah, what we're looking for. So, we are looking for composters. No, sewers first. That's what I want. Sewer. Here we go. So, yeah, I want a few of these, which is going to require plastic sheets, machine frames, pneumatic servos, and bricks. Okay, so I'll make four of them. That's fairly straightforward. So, make that real quick like that. Um, yeah, I only need to make... So, I want to, I want to make four anyway. So, this is all fairly straightforward. Chuck some plastic sheets in there, make a machine frame, sans glass, because apparently it's all just going to crap out on me. And then is that everything? Excellent. So I've got four sewers there. What I also want to do... Oh, yeah. What, so what I need after that is some compost. Is a composter or two. So if we go to composter, uh, it only makes the one, so I'm probably going to make two of these. So let's start off with two machine frames. I make three because I guarantee for the fertilizer I'm going to need one as well. So I may as well get on that. So I also grab two furnaces like so. Um, some more plastic sheets just to be on the safe side. Uh, a couple of pistons. One, two pistons. Excellent. I need four pistons, don't I? Whoops a daisy. Can I make these with aluminium like a can of my Grey and Sky series? I can. That's pretty sweet. So one, two. How much aluminium have I got? Um, aluminium, 125. I've also got some aluminium ore, which I don't think I can put through my um, a mechanism system. So I may as well just run it through my bog standard thermal expansion system instead. So that is some pistons, and then need two redstone reception coils. Fairly straightforward, and then I should just be able to click that. One, two composters, marvelous. Then I also just need the fertilizer. For those that are from the UK, you might recognise the Devonian accent. It's where I lived for quite a few years of my life. Uh, now, living somewhere slightly different, so up up north in uh, the Nottingham area. So, here we go. Well, not really that north, but northern northernish. So, there we go. So, we've got fertiliser, two compost, uh, composters, and four sewers. What I also want to do next is start to set up a little area. Why don't I just cl shift, click out some jungle saplings? I will never know. But what I want to do now is set up a little area where I can start to put the animals in. So, oh yeah, what I'm also going to need is some upgrades for my MFR system, I think. So, upgrade. So, I'm looking for mine factory loaded upgrades. So, Fertilizer, I'll plan out in a second because I need to basically figure out how large an area I'm going to plan out for. And then, oh, I need some dirt, don't I? Need dirt, got dirt. Come on. Where would be the dirt? There we go. 40,000 dirt at the moment, that's quite a lot. But I think my, um, I think my um, deep storage units can hold a fair bit more than that, so it's not really the end of the world. So, yeah, this is where all my animals are going to be held, so just neat enough neat, neat, neat enough off a little bit so they're gonna get behind here so I'm gonna leave so one space will be for the if we drop find the fertilizer the fertilizer is obviously gonna go down the middle there so the right way around yeah that'll be where the fertilizer will go and then we'll need to have the two composters feeding into that so I'll have one there and one there next we need to have the um, the what's the word I'm looking for the pen pen laid out so let me just build a kind of a rough area for my pen. So what have we got so far? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'd need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so let me just make that one longer. So we definitely have ten in between. So I think that all works out. Do I have, will, I, will I have a ten by ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Yep, that's perfect. So, all the animals are going to go down in this rough area. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, bloody hell, I did not want that one there. Is it getting dark? I think it's getting... No, it's getting it's getting kind of twilight-ish. I'm going to have to uh, go, go nap in a minute, but... Where was I? So I've miscounted here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that would be the 10 there. So I need to have my little pen come out to about there. 
Uh, here we go. So all the animals, so when I, so the way this works is I basically drop down these sewers, that picks up sewage from, so basically the animals crap on them. The sewers pick them up and then transport them to the composters which turn the sewage into, um, into fertilizer. Fertilizer goes into the fertilizer which then starts to fertilize the trees. So let me just uh, sleep real quick, go back to daytime, don't like building, building during the night, avoid the mobs that way. So we'll just, uh, oh, bloody hell, wrong, wrong side there. Um, what are we looking for? So I want some fencing as well. How much have I got? I've got loads of fencing. Excellente. Now the reason I've counted out the little perfect area like that is, is that I will have one sewer in each of a five by five area, because if you overlap them, they basically lose efficiency. So you want them kind of as spread out as possible. And then I will just have basically a crap ton of animals in here as well. I'll probably just breed them up, uh, get a load of wheat and stuff. Um, get a rancher, no, not a rancher, a breeder or something like that. Breed them all up and then, um, or my, what's it called? It's like, um, I can't, there's like some kind of like forestry one where it's, um, hang on, can I go forestry? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's like um, some kind of thing where you put wheat in there and it basically breeds them up. And I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I'm fairly sure it's from forestry, but uh, I can't remember what it is. I'll, I'm sure if I remember it, I'll remember it for next episode. So this is almost done in terms of where the animals are going to go. And then what I'm going to need to do next is place down all my sewers, build the upgrades for them. So I need to have a range extender of, think, of four for all of them because they have essentially what is like a one by one um, so the sewers only work, so vanilla without an upgrade, they only work in a one by one area. So essentially with the animals stood right on top of them. So what I'm going to need, so, ooh, whoops a daisy. So if we go uh, one, two, three, one, two. So one sewer will go there. Uh, three, so no, another one will go there. Excellent, it's looking fine at the moment. Uh, one will go there. And then one will go there. Excellent. So that kind of fills up the whole area. Because this one will cover this 5x5 five five area, like here. That one covers 1, 2, 1, 2. If I don't, have I counted wrong here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, craptastic. Uh, let's break out the lumber axe, because this will hopefully allow me to kind of plough through this a bit quicker. Yep, that is perfect. I've, be I've basically just built it one too far in, so let me just knock all this down. There we go, that's better. Pick all this up. I'll rebuild it. Rebuild it real quick. Where's my jungle wood gone? Here we go. So this needs to do... Um, I'll wrench these up like this. They'll need to go one across there. Let me just fill all the dirt in. Uh, I, I don't believe I miscounted. That was a bit silly. Oops, Daisy. I did not mean to dig you up. Where's that uh, sewer gone? Oh yeah, because I've wrenched these up. They don't stack, which is kind of annoying. But uh, so yeah, one, two, one, two. That that one meets up now. One, two. So I need to build across from here. I think. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, I'll knock that down in a second. I may as well do it quick now with this with my steel axe, which is pretty cool. It's a nice fast axe. The lumber axe is great if you're knocking down like large areas or want the whole tree capacitor aspect. If you just want to knock down individual blocks, I've got like the kind of second hatchet as well, just to knock things that just knock out individual things fairly quick. It's made out of steel, so it's one of the fastest uh, like vanilla. Uh, well, not vanilla, just one of the fastest Tinker's construct tools you've got, which is quite cool. So what I want now is some, is it Fluidux or Liquidux? Yeah, Fluidux, I'm going to need some more of them. So Flui, Fluidux, where are you? There we go, Fluidux, marvellous. Grab a load of them, because what I'm going to need to do now is start hooking up all of my sewers, like underneath. So where is my excavator? That's what I'm looking for. Uh, excavator round. There we go, so it's going to require me to dig a little bit down. There we go. Um, and then we'll dig down like this. I'll have to fill this all back in in a second, but once I've hooked up all of the fluid ducts, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I just wanted to knock all this out real quick, just so I could... Uh, I might get my builder's wand, actually. It'll help me fill this in a wee bit quicker. Um, so where are the fluid... They're the, they're, the, they're the fluid ducts. So that one will come down to there. Um, is that going to work? 
Okay, there you go, that will work. So there to there to there, and then what I need to do is... Um, so here are the, the composters, so I'll dig down like that. Dig through real quick. There we go. Connect these up, so bring that, bring this out, and then left and up. There we go, so that's all in place. Just need to kind of put loads of dirt back now, so let me just fill all that in. Do -do 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 -do. So they'll all go out automatically, which is pretty cool. Do I, I don't think I need, I think it'll automatically force out, which is the beauty of uh, like Mine Factory Reloaded and Thermal Expansion. They've all essentially got like auto eject things, so I don't have to worry too much about um, how they're going to eject. So here we go, let me just fill all this in. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't mean to do that. So this is the interface for it. You basically have your, like, your sewage and your work happening. They're all pa it's a passive machine, so it's not as though I need to power them either, which is quite cool. So I can just have them down like this, passively working away for my aims. So we're almost filled in. Going to get a sheep uh, bar in away. So I'm going to have to fly over and fill everything in from the other side. Here we go. I'm out of dirt. Oh, great. So let me go grab some... Why am I out of dirt? Oh no, I've got grass. That's why, because it because it's got because it's got silk touch. I uh, did not. I've forgotten that. Um, so I've got to fill this all in with grass as well. She's not the end of the world. Oh bloody hell! I did not think of that. Uh, it won't really matter too much. These require power, I think. So I'm gonna have to run some. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Redstone energy conduits around in a second. Let me build the upgrades first. So I want. So let me just put all of this away. This is finished with, and the iron spikes. Let me go for upgrade. I want the four times upgrade, so I want a range of four. So any copper upgrades, it's fairly straightforward. One, two, three. Oh crap, what am I missing? Uh, oh yeah, just more raw plastic. So let me just grab Robert like that. Uh, where's the redstone furnace? There you are, beautiful. Just run that through for a second. I'll make some more in a minute. Let me just fly over here. Oh, just realised I missed out a uh, piece of dirt there, so I'll put the copper upgrades in all of these. Next, what I need to do is power power these. So let me go grab some redstone energy conduits from somewhere and start running some uh, running running some power around. So red redstone energy con. There we go, redstone energy conduits. Perfect. Twenty eight should be enough. Do I have a, just a, just an ordinary spe uh, shovel or something somewhere? Uh, yep, that will do. Um, so now I might just make a diamond shovel quick for doing this. I just need like a one-off shovel. I don't really want my excavator, so... Shovel. Yeah, let's make a diamond shovel. One diamond. That's fairly that's fairly cheap. Just so I can like dig up around and find out where I have put my... So where the hell is my nearest energy conduit that I can... Ah, there, there it is. So excellent. Let me just dig around here real quick. Leave it all on the ground, which is the uh, main aim of... So how, how far have I got to go? Not too far. Do, 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 do. Here we go, so I can run it round to here. Marvellous. Um, yeah, might have to come out... Uh, yeah, let me put it so it kind of comes out here and connects up like that. The item ducts can come out and go into the side, which is fairly straightforward. Oh, bloody hell, I did not mean to do... Oh, crap. Craptastic. There we go. Where's that dirt gone? I just want to fill in that, like so. Next, we need to just run all this energy conduit round. Do-do-do. Oh, bloody hell. Why would you do that? Uh, da -da -da -da. So that's all connected up to there. I can then replace all this with dirt, cover it all up, make it look all nice and neat. Because I hate uh, having like too much exposed uh, cabling if I can get away with it. So just neaten all this up. So they're all now powered, which is pretty cool. As you can see, it's all full of energy. Et voila. Um, next, I need to... Oh yeah, I need to build that one more upgrade, don't I? So... Where's that copper upgrade? Upgrade. Copper upgrade. One more. Oh yeah, I need raw plastic. Um, plastic? Why isn't it making raw plastic? Oh, because I've got, I've got. I need to get take rubber. Sorry. 
Herp derp. Um, there we go. So I've got plenty of rubber in there. I need to actually swap it over and smelt, re-smelt rubber that I've already smelted from raw rubber. So I've got a little bit in there now, which isn't too bad. So let me just make sure I've got three down. Close the door just to be on the safe side. Just being paranoid. I've got like my um, my nano suit on, but I'm still paranoid. I'm going to take damage. It's one of those things in Minecraft. Once you you've been playing it for a long time, you're kind of paranoid about everything, even with like super duper armor on. Oh, bit of lag there. Come on, lag. Stop it. Been play nice. Um, so what? Plastic, don't I? There we go. So some more plastic. One last copper upgrade. I also need. I can't remember what area the. Um, the fertilizer works in but I think I okay so I need I need potentially another copper upgrade so uh, I think that's the right one so we'll grab one more copper upgrade I think a fertilizer works in the 3x3 three three area in front of it so let me just put the last two uh, upgrades in place so oh god that's the wrong one so that goes in there which sewer did not have an upgrade you did not have an upgrade Oh, let me just make sure all the other ones have got upgrades in. Excellent, they do. So I'm going to go sleep real quick. And the final stage is to find ourselves some animals, which uh, will provide the sewage. So let me just sleep for a second. Now I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I've already made myself a um, reusable safari net. So that is the final key to this puzzle, will be safari, safari net reusable. Excellent. So. We can now go and find ourselves some animals, so let's go find some sheep and stuff. Sheep and cows and all that jazz, so we've got one here already. Apparently he's only on one health. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what health they're on, but uh, so if we drop him down there, is that we're going to see some sewage go in there? Yep, we saw a little bit go in there, which is pretty cool. So that should then go into one of these. Work. Sewage, yep, you can see sewage going in, and it's working very slowly, and then it will pop out. Oh yeah, I need item ducks, don't I? Whoopsie daisy. One last thing will be to find some item ducks. So let me grab item ducks. Uh, where are they? There we go. Item ducks. Marvellous. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd forgotten about the item ducks. Whoopsie daisy. So item duct, item duct. Connect. Item duct, item duct. And make sure that these are set to out. And then we should see sewage go in there. So that's going to start growing things, which is pretty cool. So that's going to be working. It's almost done. So we should see a fertilizer pop here in, in here any second. Maybe not. It must, must have been too quick for me to notice. So what I need to do now is just go and grab some more animals. I think horses might work as well. I don't know. Pretty cool if they would, because I can literally just bung in like I think large animals tend to work better. So I suppose I can just drop in any any kind of animals that I find. So am I gonna see sewage going there? Yep, saw some sewage. So yeah, horses work as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I've managed to get that little system set up. So now I need to go around, find as many animals as possible. Drop them in here, they'll create sewage, that'll create fertilizer, trees go quicker, meaning more more wood goes into my uh, furnaces and more charcoal I get so pretty cool because as you can see there's only a small amount of wood in there but yeah that seems to have worked out quite well so that little build is finished for now uh, as a, so I'm going to leave the video there as always guys don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode but apart from that thanks for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye